If you're in engineering, when you think of success, the first thing that comes to mind probably isn't strong relationships. Having strong relationships with everyone around you is going to lead you to more career prospects and the ability to get further in your career. So you should care about developing strong relationships with the people that you interact with and with the people you want to network with. The best way to position yourself to start networking is to raise your emotional and social intelligence or EQ and SQ. The way you're gonna do this is by paying better attention to yourself, which is most of what EQ focuses on, and then paying attention to others and group dynamics, which is what SQ or social intelligence focuses on. These are very important skills and they're gonna help you build stronger relationships with the people around you, as well as help you network with those people that are going to help you get to where you wanna get in your career. Because after all, it's not about who you know, it's who knows you. And do those decision makers and people that could help you get that career changing role that you want, have any idea who you are? Has your reputation positively or neutrally or worse, negatively, preceded you when it comes to that interaction? These are questions you should probably start asking yourself. It's been shown time and time again in top performing companies that the engineers or technical people that have the strongest professional social networks are the ones that are the highest output. So I'm not talking about like, you have the biggest group of people that goes out drinking with you after work. I'm talking about your professional social network that can actually get things done that move the needle for the organization. So the people with the strongest relationships and have the deepest network of people they can call when they need help, especially urgently, are the ones that are gonna be able to perform the best and typically bubble up to the top of the organization. If getting up to the top of the organization is something that interests you, you should pay attention to yourself and to others and start working on building your professional network out to where you will have the opportunities to move up and get to those roles that you want. So what's stopping you from building your network out? Do you have any good reason? I don't really think there's many good reasons why you shouldn't start building a professional social network, especially if you're in a big organization. It's a very big place and meeting new people and developing a reputation, which you should protect with your life, is something that you should do because it will help you long-term in your career and it will even help you outside of your organization. If you ever wanna move jobs, change buildings, change sectors, whatever it is, having that professional network is something that will pervade all of these spaces. So you need to be careful about burning bridges. So having strong relationships is something that's very important it's almost pivotal to your career success. Emotional and social intelligence are among the main contributors to being able to grow that strong professional network. And it's also one of the main drivers as to why you should care about your communication skills more than your technical skills as you rise up the ranks. Because if you can't get your point across or be able to massage your message to be something that your audience can digest, you're never gonna get where you want to go in your career. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay. Click that link below and schedule a call with me today.